Hi, I'm Sam. I'm a Brit living in London, and I recently had the chance to visit Japan before the pandemic began. I am here to share with you all the cool and unique observations I made while I explored the great city of Tokyo. First off, you might hear these loud lorries driving around playing music. These are used for promotional purposes. On top of that, you might find yourself at a restaurant that you order your food from a vending machine. Don't worry though, you can still get sandwiches with the crusts already cut off. When you're seated at the restaurant, you might find your server gives you a little basket to store your belongings in. That's because the Japanese love organization and tidiness. The issue of tidiness is also present in the streets, where their traffic cones are way more exciting than what you usually see in the rest of the world. A hygiene bonus too, with certain places providing special slippers to use in the toilet. What's more, most stores in Tokyo have a unique way of providing proof of purchase. They put your shopping bag together with tape. If you're looking to get around, there are people cycling on both the pavement and road. When you're in need of a refreshment, head to one of the many convenience stores, which has a wild range of drinks, including fluorescent green melon soda, which is one of the most popular drinks in the country. But why is the green melon soda so popular? That's because Japan is obsessed with cute things in general, like kittens, puppies, rabbits, and mice. The train seats are even designed in a way that you can rotate them in the direction of travel for your pleasure. You may also see some people wearing geta, which are traditional Japanese wooden sandals. When it comes to health and safety, smoking is not allowed in many places, with designated cages for smokers on the streets. Speaking of health and safety, the toilets in most places are incredibly sophisticated with many buttons. On the other hand, for a unique experience, you may want to visit one of the many made cafes where young women dress in made outfits and serve you food and drinks. When a train pulls into the station, an adorable jingle plays. Lastly, but not least, let's not forget the face masks which people wear for a variety of reasons, such as avoiding air pollution, allergies, germs, spots, and blemishes. Well, that's all I have to say about my recent trip to the amazing city of Tokyo. Hope to see you all back soon to Japan. If you have any other observations or experiences you'd like to share,